Hello there. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can write pretty simple HTML emails and then have the styles to them be inlined using Premiere Rails. Before I start, I just want to thank Expedited WAF for sponsoring today's episode. I really appreciate it. They are a add on for Heroku, which adds a firewall to your app, and that'll filter some of that really nasty traffic like attacks from bots and DDoSs, SQL injections, that kind of nasty stuff. Highly recommend giving them a look. All right, on to the episode. If you've ever built a nice HTML mailer, you probably know that you have to inline the CSS to make it look really pretty. This is because lots of email clients do not support external style sheets. So things like Outlook or even stuff in the browser like Gmail, if you uh, don't kind of inline your styles properly, it will look pretty bad. This can be pretty tedious to write out though, it can make our views very hard to work with. Luckily, there's a gem called Premailer Rails, which takes our style sheets and then applies them to our mailers. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add that gem and make it so we have this little mailer here, have all of its styles be inlined. I'm going to show you what I've done so far to get this mailer to this point. So if I open Vim here, in my app views layouts mailer.html.erb file, I have a fairly standard HTML mailer so far where I have a few classes which add these various styles and a yield for the content of the email. And I'm also including my style sheet pack tag, which uh, is called mailer, which I've defined up here, which is just loading in all of Bootstrap so I can use all the classes in my mailers, which is very cool. And then for the actual mailer, I haven't got any inline styles and I have no intention of writing anything too complicated in here other than a couple of paragraph tags and maybe a few links. And that all outputs to be this. To get our first quick win, we're going to make it so all these CSS classes are going to be inlined into our HTML mailer. And we're going to use the pre-mailer Rails gem to achieve this. So I'm just going to quickly copy its name. And I'm going to run bundle add pre-mailer hyphen Rails. This is going to add it to our gem file and run bundle and all that other magic we need. Next, I'm going to quickly restart my Rails server. We're running bundle exec rails restart. This is because we've added a gem. We need to make sure rails knows about it. Kind of like when you restart your computer, when you add a new hard drive or something. Okay. I think that's done now. Okay, cool. You can now see we have a bunch of inline styles in our mailer. That's pretty fantastic. If you're using the latest bootstrap or tailwind or other CSS frameworks, they're probably going to be using CSS variables and that's where you can define them like this. And then you call them kind of like this in your CSS and they're great. They're really fantastic. However, with premailer rails, it's going to drop that variable in like this, which is kind of what we expect it to do, but we can't guarantee clients like Outlook or maybe Gmail will actually be able to understand what's going on there. And they may just end up giving us like something that looks a bit rubbish. So the workaround for this is to calculate that variable as we parse our CSS using a library called post CSS variables. I'm going to quickly show you how to set this up. So keep in mind, we have these little variables here. Uh, I'm going to quickly do yarn add post CSS hyphen CSS hyphen variables. This is going to add it to our package.json and make it available for our webpacker instance to use. The next thing we're going to do is quickly tell our post CSS config about this new, new little thing we have. So I'm going to create a new line and let's say require post CSS variables. And you can put this wherever in this file. I'd recommend somewhere near the bottom because it needs to be calculated like kind of near the end. However, keep in mind, we've got these variables here. All I have to do is refresh the page now and 
it's going to recalculate all that CSS. And there we go. This has figured out what that variable is and then outputted the uh, the style for us, which is really fantastic. One thing which has made me really, really appreciate Premailer Rails is that it can handle plain text emails. The way we can make it do this is really fun. So what we're going to do is we're just going to delete these uh, these text.erb files. And then when we refresh the page, it's just going to look at the contents of the HTML email and just rip out the text into something meaningful to a text email client, which I really like. I think that's like kind of the way we should do it. I think that's fantastic. So this is Premailer Rails is kind of quickly summarized for you. I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. Please uh, drop a comment if there's anything you'd like to know or anything you'd like me to do a tutorial on. Please remember to smash that like button. And thank you for watching. I'll see you again next week.